A fierce snowstorm brings traffic to a standstill on Interstate 40 in Santa Rosa, New Mexico. The state's governor has declared an emergency after the storm left tens of thousands of people without power. The storm is bringing heavy snow, strong winds and freezing temperatures to the northern two-thirds of New Mexico and parts of eastern Colorado. Forecasters with the National Weather Service are warning that historic amounts of snow are expected to fall through Friday, as much as four feet in some locations. Executive orders issued Thursday by New Mexico Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham unlock state funding for emergency response efforts. She says more than 250 snowplows have been working around the clock to clear roads and the New Mexico National Guard is helping. Russia has mastered the production of Iranian Shahed attack drones and is producing them in large quantities. In order to stop drone attacks on Ukraine, it is necessary to strike at the plant that produces them. Aviation expert Valery Romanenko expressed this opinion on the Freedom TV channel. According to him, the plant for the production of attack drones in Russia is operating at full capacity. The Russians planned to make 6,000 Shaheds by the end of the year, and they had already made them by September. On the one hand, the design became very expensive, because instead of all the crap that the Iranian Shahed's body was made of, it was almost resin-impregnated cardboard. The Russians are now using very expensive carbon fiber. But, at the same time, they are removing the flywheel and a number of systems from Chinese engines, that is, they are trying to reduce the cost by using elements that are not needed for a disposable product. Therefore, they are able to increase production, Romanenko said. He added that the Russians use Chinese engines to produce their shaheds. Half of the electronics in the drones are also Chinese, but there are also American and European elements. 
The Russians have never had problems with the warhead. They have always had more than enough of what they can kill with. Therefore, the product is not complicated and production can be increased. But in general, they are increasing it for the time being until it arrives there. But when it arrives, then we will see how they will increase it further, the aviation expert noted. Romanenko expressed the opinion that a strike should be carried out on the Russian plant that produces drones. The most effective way to stop the Shahed raids is to destroy the nest where they are produced. Now we are preparing to produce missiles. Now we are developing jet drones. Now our drone range reaches 1,500 kilometers and Yelabuga, I think, is 1,000 300 to 1,200 kilometers. That is, drones are already preparing to fly there, he said. The Israeli military released video on Thursday showing its forces operating in southern Lebanon. Soldiers were seen driving a military vehicle, as well as firing weapons in the footage that was filmed in an undisclosed locations. Israel has said it is trying to push militants away from the border and put an end to more than a year of Hezbollah fire into northern Israel. The Israel-Hamas war began after Palestinian militants stormed into Israel on October 7, 2023, killing some 1,200 people mostly civilians and abducting 250 others. Israel's military response in Gaza has killed more than 43,000 people, Palestinian health officials have said. They do not distinguish between civilians and combatants, but have said more than half of those killed were women and children. Since the conflict between Israel and Hezbollah erupted in 2023, at least 3,000 people have been killed and some 13,500 wounded in Lebanon, the health ministry reported. A report by Lebanon's Crisis Response Unit said 361,300 Syrians and over 177,800 Lebanese crossed into Syria between September 23 and November 1.